Alright, what is going on guys? It is Helvetica here and today I'm going to be showing you the best free video capture software or streaming software there is known to man. This is the best software I've ever had, least laggiest, all that good stuff. But before we get into the video here, leave a like for this video uh, and subscribe if you're new. I spend a lot of time on these videos. I'm actually using a really kind of ghetto rig with my iPhone as the mic and stuff and uh, just trying to get this video to work. So definitely leave a like and subscribe if you're new. That helps out just you guys don't even know so uh, first off we ha the name of the software is open broadcaster software this is free there will be a link in the description for this I'm just gonna kinda go through it real quick here and show you how it works so this is what I use to record my videos and what you do is you right click here and you add a scene you can name the scene whatever you want you can name it uh, primary let's just say primary video but let's just put white YT for YouTube here and we'll put that there and as you can see here I don't know if my screen is recording actually right now, but let me go, let me switch back here. So you would click on Primary Video YT, and then in over here you can right click and then add <clears throat> Game Capture, Video Capture, CLR Browser, Window Capture, Monitor Capture. What this basically does is allows you to, if you click Game Capture, <clears throat> it'll g bring up a list of like, say you're playing Minecraft or Grand Theft Auto, it'll sh show that and you can click on that and it'll only record the Grand, Th Grand Theft Auto screen, so if you minimize that, it's still recording Grand Theft Auto and all that good stuff uh, you can do window capture so it just r records a certain window like google chrome your browser steam spotify whatever you want it to record and monitor capture which is what i'm using right now to capture my whole screen it shows everything i'm doing i can click on any window and it just it captures everything i'm doing which is great and uh... the settings option here we can go into settings i'm just gonna do a little quick rundown here just so you guys can get set up uh, First thing we have general, you know, language, blah, blah blah, encoding. You guys can mess with this how you want. You know, set it up to whatever encoding you guys like. Broadcasting. This is where the broadcasting comes in. So live stream file output only. You can actually change that. I think I have mine set to live stream right now because I was live streaming. But change it to file output only, and you can have a bunch of settings to where the file gets put. Uh, right now, live stream is here. We have Twitch, YouTube, you know, all this stuff. And what you'll do here is you get the key from the website like twitch put it in here and uh, start it up and you'll be able to start the stream and I'll show you something else here really quickly too about streaming but next up here we have video I record in 1080 pixel 60 FPS resolution downscale blah 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 all this good stuff change that to your liking audio click here change your microphone uh, desktop just to see what uh, what the if it records the sounds coming from your desktop and this is for your microphone from external sounds right now where you are hearing my voice from so hotkeys you can kind of uh, <coughs> mess with those how you want there is no pause feature I noticed which kinda sucks but you know it is what it is this software is honestly just great so use constant frame rate is what you want to use here uh, unless you guys know what you're doing so this is all you know set up for you quick sync encoder don't really know much about any of this microphone noise gate you can change that to your liking scene switcher blah 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 <coughs> all that good stuff and also there's a preview stream button here you see this see 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 this right here this kinda looks weird right but let me put this down see that that's showing me what I'm recording right now. If I were to click preview stream, it would show that, and you know, you'd be able to see that. Hey, look, it's gonna work when I record. Uh, I do have something down here that's a little bit stretched. I don't know what that is. It's only showing up uh, here though, and it will be there when I output the video. So that's kind of weird. But uh, other than that, this this is honestly the greatest capture software. You can use it for gaming, tutorials. Uh, desktop showing whatever you want to use it for it works extremely well with audio devices file formats you can put it out see I'm recording at sawed at 60 FPS here drop frames 0% and uh, it'll be output into this folder right here which is really cool you can change that I'm pretty sure and uh, yeah there's there's a lot of options it's very simple layout once you get to know it you just right click make a scene come into here right click and then add monitor capture window capture you know any of that yeah, I'm sure you guys can figure it out if you need any help leave a comment below and I'll try my best to help you out with this uh, but that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed like I said leave a like these videos take a lot of time to make get everything set up I'm using kind of a ghetto rig right now like I said uh, but yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the day after tomorrow's video Facade, facade. have a great night